the guy. One more good morning. Thanks for the recording. <laughs> no, next time, next time. We're going to do squat. We're going to do inhale. We're going to lift our arms up and think yoga, but we're going to focus on the squat. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, inhale, go down, exhale, come up. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 and hold. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. 15 seconds longer, we're gonna hold it. After that, we're gonna twist and put the elbow on our knee. Bring left elbow on your right knee, twist deep. Lower your bum low a little more, so you guys have horrible time to do this pose. <laughs> Stay lower, go breathe. Lift your chest up. Back to the center, reach forward, reach up, stand tall, go down again. Bring opposite elbow on the other side. So remember, your tailbone reaching back, top of your head reach forward. Toes are heavy, arch lifting. Don't open your knees too much away from each other. Try to push your knees back, keep on breathing. Back to center, reach forward. Squat down lower, don't go up yet, don't go up yet, don't go up yet. My quad is burning already. Stand tall. Let's repeat this one more time. Arms up, palm to get a nice deep inhale. Exhale, go down, bring left elbow on your right knee. So you're gonna that's all we're gonna do today. Back to the center, go other side. Back to center, reach forward, stand up again. We go to first pose, we did a squat, arm drop, inhale. Remember that one? Let's do that one more 20 times. Go inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, that's 20 up, fold forward all the way, palms on the ground. Take your legs back to high plank pose. We're gonna do 10 mountain climber, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Go to Dundalk. Right leg up all the way, down on the ground, other leg up, down on the way, go high to plank, again high plank pose, lower it down to up dog, again, back to high plank pose, 20, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, down dog again, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, right leg up, down, left leg up, down, high plank pose, all the way down, up dog, high plank pose, one more up dog, high plank pose, mountain climber 30, huh? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Don't dog. So we go for three. One left up, down, right up, down, left up, down. So don't just directly go down. Maybe make a circle with your leg and bring it down. And going down again all the way. Up dog, one. Up dog, two. Up dog, three. It's a lot of work. Well, Moving from up dog to high plank. Okay. Back to mountain climb. That's 40. The next one, the 40, we skip the 50. We go directly to 60, just in case you want it. And you finish 40, finish 40. Keep your head slow, shoulder or over top of your wrist. Belly of your elbow pointing forward, core engaged. Move your leg properly. So we go forward, leg up and down. Circling the leg to the side. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. You got it, Lori, beautiful. Keep going, keep going. Woo. We're finishing number four, and then we go number six, so 60. Four, up the high plank. Yeah. Sixty mountain climbers. Sixty mountain climber. Let's go, Lori. Let's go. My arm. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Ready. Longer. Step. Same page. I'm going to same page. Six leg again, so six sixty side. Remember that, no, not three. Sixty side. Knees are straight away, Leon. Knees are straight, chest reaching back, toes pointed nicely. You got it, you got it, you got it. Woo, that's so tiring. And then six up dog. Oh yeah, that's gonna warm you up. And we're just pushing the high plank. Keep going, keep going. After we're done with this, we go back to the first thing we did again, of course. Stand up, go for 20. Now you steep your squat. Make sure you switch, remove your arm. Arm up. Breathe deep. I press through your center arch of your feet. Ten more. Looking good, Kelly. Inhale, Looking exhale. good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, push up. One more. Ooh, back to high plank pose again. Oh, no. Opposite arm and leg is reaching. Off the ground, reaching, and then switching other side. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stand up, ten squat, rotate your arm, arm over your head. Shoulder twist. twist, yeah. So we're gonna add a twist. Opposite elbow to knee. Go one, two, three, four, 
Right, stay upright. Don't don't bend forward. Huh? Six. Not much spine using. Seven. Just rotation on the spine. No more than that. Eight. No rounding. Nine. Ten. Last ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Keep on breathing. Seventeen. Focus on your center arches. That's where you want the weight. Nineteen. And twenty. Back to high plank pose, of course. I'm going to kill the high plank pose. Well, we cannot. We're going to walk forward with our legs. To go all the way to chair pose. Let's repeat this. Walk back again or jump back. You can even do that too. Walk forward. All the way to squat. Arms up. Inhale. That's two. You can go from chair. Arms down. Jump back. To high plank. And then straight knee. Walk forward. Two more. Good. Stand up. Remember figure four? Yes. Do you remember it, Stephanie? Figure four. Figure four? We are not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> no, we are. We are. Okay, ready? Get a stay in figure four, please. Ready, Kelly? Stand with any leg, your right leg started. You can start with the right leg. So we're gonna fold forward, touch the ground, come back up or not. Go one, two, three, and four. Switch leg. Go one. Make sure you, when you stand, you come into full hip extension. Two. Tighten your glutes, stand tall. Three. Four. Switch leg again, please. We're going to the same as that. Fold forward all the way. Bend your knees a little. And hold it there, hold it there. Stay with your arms. You can walk forward, 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 forward. And back. Don't lose your leg. Walk back, walk back, walk back, walk back, walk back, walk back. Repeat that again. For two. Push your knee back when you come forward. Three. Is this the yoga pose you're telling about? Yeah, it is yoga pose. You just make it up right now. Yeah, I just made it. Switch leg, please. That was three. That's good enough. With the ankle to knee, make sure you keep that foot, that ankle in flexion. Set. Anytime your knees flex like this, you support that knee by flexing the ankle. Walk forward. Hands on the ground. Walk forward all the way. You come back, go into a little squat on your single leg knee. Two. Bend it. Open up the glutes a little bit more to the hip. Three. We're going to switch leg. This time, leg going to hop back. Okay? Good luck with that. So, folding forward, knee slightly bent, palms on the ground, land, and find the place, you go back, and no push up, no sit up, nothing, just come forward, stand up, three of those, that was one, two, you don't have to be perfect, one other, just repeating over and over, things go wrong, of course, readjust it and go, just don't hurt yourself. And then we go other side. You can go half of the way. You can still you can walk forward. And down. Readjust your arm. Up back. Go down. Make come sure back. your palms are flat. What you don't want to do is you don't want to challenge the thumb joint with your thumb print on the floor. That's too much for your for your thumb joint. You need to support with palms down. 
If that's not something you can do, you need to grab books or yoga blocks to help with your distance. Then, that's, that's done. Now back to the squat thing we did earlier. So I'm going to do 10 of those. Nice deep inhale, squat down, arms up. Go one, 10 of those, and then we're going to do 10 with the twist one. Make sure your knees don't drive, go inward, make a few twists. Keep them pressing out. Heel on the ground, don't lift heel up. Two more. Yeah. One more each side. Remember you're looking after the ball, you're treating your body right. That's all you're doing right now. No more than that. <clears throat> Tiring and all those feeling there, but not hurting them. Good. You want to stand up all after drinking some water or something. I am drinking my beer. So bring, we're going to bring one into the chest. <clears throat> bring your right into the chest. Stand there. If you can, hands on your hips. And then we're going to extend our leg forward, straight. It. Don't let your leg drop. Lift it as high as you can. Based on here, we're going to pulsate them up, up, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down on the ground, other leg, lift it up a little up higher, extend your leg forward, go up, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Repeating it one more time, other side. That's one of the challenging things to do. Quadricep doesn't take it. So if you keep your knee straighter, then my leg has to go down lower. It's okay to go down lower. Go other side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down on the ground, fold forward, palms on the ground. Take your legs back all the way. Mountain climber, 60. So the last, we're going to do the last one we did. Repeat the last one we did. 60 and six of those leg movement and 60 up dog and hyperlanker. Once only, we're not going to go 70 or 30. Longer. 30. Don't let your hips travel too far off. 50. 60. And these poses and movement are thousands of years old. Imagine how wise and smart, how intelligent were those people. Five. This credit goes to our ancestors. Six. This workout goes to our ancestors. Yes. High plank pose, up dog, high plank pose, five more. But the next pose we're gonna do chair pose and then Kelly gonna walk it through with a little bit eagle pose and the cross legging and all those jazz we're gonna apply it. We're gonna work with an eagle bind. So inhale arms up, sink low, fingers don't have to touch. You're gonna cross your right leg over your left. If you can, maybe yeah. interlock your forefoot around your calf. Sink down low, swing your right arm under your left for eagle bind. Let's do this, Victoria. Lift your elbows and push your forearms away. Pulse. 
Knees your legs. We're going to add a forward fold. We're going to unravel, keeping our left foot there, release our arms, right? Left palm on the mat, come into a half moon. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. We're going to take our back leg foot and come into a warrior two. Sink down deep and fold. 20 seconds hold for each posture. Pull your shoulders back and down, chin is neutral, neck is long. Try to sink into your hips, so eventually your hips become in line with your front knee, depending on your flexibility to your groin. Breathe. We're going to come into a right angle, so add elbow to knee, or maybe forearm down chin, and floor, up on reaching. Sink a little lower into that front knee, and then add a twist from navel up, chest spinning to the ceiling. Find your exhale. Back to warrior two. Straighten your front knee. You might want to walk the back foot in a foot or two. Kneecaps lifting. We're going to teeter at our pelvis. So we're not going to arch our spine. Spine stays long. Flex at your hip. Reach forward through your front fingertips and then pivot your arm for a triangle pose. Again, here you're trying to rotate, swing your chest towards the ceiling. Try and get your chin in line with your upper shoulder. Kneecaps are lifting. You're tightening your front thigh. You're stretching your back thigh. Your hamstring. We're going to hold this. We're just going to bend our front knee, come back to our right angle. Maybe heel toe your back foot. Back with it, foot or two. If you're comfortable here, we're going to take a plank. Top arm reaches back. Bottom arm reaches under. Try to interlock your fingers here. Then twist. Pull your shoulder blade back. Rotate your head and neck. If a bind is impossible, maybe hand to glute. Back of hand to glute. Maybe bringing your bottom hand under your foot and then increasing that shoulder rotation. Put down on the floor, palms on the floor. You're gonna drop the forearms together if you can to the mat. Chest is long. You can take the back leg knee down. Come back up, double arms, step back, 60 mountain climbers, let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Let's go, darling. <laughs> Downward dog, right leg up, circle it wide, foot on the floor. Left leg up, circle wide, there's one. There's two, right side, two, left side. Three, three. Four, nice torque through the arm. Armpits are spinning to your face. One more. Six. Six. Come to high plank. Lower down, up dog. Inhale. Exhale, high plank. Six of those again. Two. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Three. Four, five, 
Six. Walk forward with your legs. Now we got the other side to go, guys. Chair pose. Bring your left leg over your right. Eagle bind. Bring your, bring your left arm under your right. Squeeze everything tight. Elbows lift up. Laughing. Forearms away from your face. Sink down lower. Hold and breathe. Trick is to squeeze your legs and arms if you're bringing out a towel. Forward fold through your hips. Bring your chest down. Right palm on the mat and wobble to half moon. Your right palm is about 12 inches in front of your right foot. Palm flat on the floor. If you need assistance, grab a yoga block, some books. Open up. Pop hip by externally rotating. You can, you want to look up to the ceiling. Look back down to the floor as so you take a warrior two. Sink into your front hip. Sink down to your groin. Tailbone going down, top of the head. Everything pelvic floor lifting up. Reaching equal opposite directions of your arms. Breathe. I'm just gaping softly over my longest finger of my front hand. Eyes are coming in, looking inward as I look outward. Just bring that forearm, elbow to knee, maybe forearm down your shin, maybe fingertips to the inner arch. Using that leverage on your tricep, press to your knee and twist your upper torso back. Shin in line with your shoulder. Core strength coming back to warrior two. We're going to straighten our front leg knee. Maybe walk our back foot a foot or two in. Lifting the kneecaps, pivoting at the hips. So my back hip is rising up. My front hip is going towards my left groin. If you're prone to hyperextending the knee, slightly keep a bend in the front knee. Pivot your arms. You may hand to shin, top of foot, maybe inside of arch, maybe outside of foot. Keeping your hips stacked, spine long. Twist. Chin in line with your upper shoulder, creating rotation wherever we can. Very good for the spine, very good for the shoulders. Back leg forward and back yourself. Breathe. Knee straight. Front knee straight. We're going to bend that front leg knee, come to our right angle, maybe elbow to knee. Try and get our front hip in line with our knee. Maybe forearm down your shin. If you're comfortable here, take a bind at the back of your top hand to your, your top glute and bring your bottom hand under your leg and then work on leverage of that leg to twist. Maybe interlocking fingers behind that bottom glute, lengthening the top of the head forward, tailbone back. Now twist, opening the shoulders, opening the neck, opening the mid back. Breathe. Going to bring the palms to the inside of your front foot, back heel off the mat, coming to a lizard pose, double elbows down, keeping the chest long. If that's tough for you, with knee off the mat, bring your back leg knee top of your foot on the mat and see if you can lengthen that breastbone forward. It's not extension of the neck, chin is neutral, top of the head reaching forward, it's lengthening of the lower breastbone. Back onto your palms. Step back, high plank, six mountain climbers. Let's go. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. 
60, back to down dog. Right leg up, circle one. Left leg up, circle one. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. High plank. Up dog. Swim. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. The high plank. Two. Three. Find your exhale. Four. Five. Six. Good enough, guys. We're going to take 20 minutes break and then we go home. <laughs> no. Okay, got some more that'll come back in quickly. Do our main set. Yeah. We'll start with jumping lunges, sideways, we're going to go lateral. And then we're going to do toe tap. Need something for toe taps. You can just use this place in front of you. As long as you're bringing your knee up, toe into the center of higher. That's 30 seconds, though, but we're going to repeat that many times. Okay, we have the lunge is sideways, jumping too. Lateral lunge, can we jump to the left? Two to leg, jump to the right. Go deep. 30 seconds, going. Time. Eight seconds gone already. Here we go. 15 seconds to go. Eight seconds to go. Five. Done. Toe tap, 30 seconds. Time starts right away. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Done. Mountain climber six to push ups. So, same amount of time. 30 seconds. 10 seconds gone. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to go. Done. So tap again. Twenty seconds to go. Ten seconds to go. Five. On your back, opposite arm, opposite leg. 30 seconds. Six seconds gone. Fifteen seconds to go. Five. Done. Toe tap. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Done. Bear piece. 30 seconds. Four seconds gone. Ten 
Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Done. Back to toe tap. Little stronger on the knees. Don't just wiggle your legs. Lift your knee up a little more. Don't rest and move. And we're gonna restart again. We did one, but we'll go four, four more sets of them. Three, two, one, done. Remember the jumping? Here you go. Lunges, jumping. Five gone already. 10 seconds gone, 20 seconds to go. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, done, throw tap. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Two, one, done. Mountain climber, two push-ups. Six mountain climber, two push-ups. Do the best you can all the time. I can do only two mountain climber. Exactly what I mean. Do the best you can. Ten seconds. Three, two. One, done, so tight. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. On your back, open arm, open leg, we go in. It's ongoing, it's ongoing thing. Time doesn't wait. Fifteen seconds gone. Bigger, bigger, come up with a little more upper body, less leg, yeah. Two, one, toe tap. Go. Ten seconds. And done. Bare feet. Let's go, Barry. Where are you? You never get up. <laughs> Two, one, done. Go tap. One second. Ten seconds. Done. That's number three. If your legs are exhausted, focus on quality of the move. Maybe do one step at a time. If you're just lazy, focus on quality and go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Five seconds. Done. Fifteen 
15 seconds. Five. Done. Ten seconds gone. Five seconds to go. Done. Back to toe tap. Fifteen seconds to go. Five seconds. Done. On your back, go. Twenty seconds. Remember, you're chasing the earlier number you apply. You want to stay behind it. Ten seconds. Five. Two. One. Go tap. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Done. Burpees. Ten seconds. Remember the number you did first time? Are you doing the same number? Done. You did three sets of it. Finishing that. Two more to go. Ten seconds. Keep on breathing. Let's push it right in. Let's go. Done. Next two are about technique. The most important. These are the time you get injured. But when you're tired and you're not aware of anything. Connect to your feet to jump. Back pad of your foot on the floor. Ten seconds. Lower the number, higher quality. Done. Five seconds. Three, two, one, six mountain climb, two push up. Are you catching up? Ten seconds. Done. Make sure that you put every area. Now, a lot of sweat on the floor. Have some move. Make sure to put every area. Three, two, one, done. On your back. 
I'm gonna place where your exhale. Five seconds, right after you get up, ground is wet because you're on it. So be aware of your step. Done. Ten seconds. Done. Then take it. And done. Let's pause this here. That's good enough, guys. We have some time to do a little yoga, so. You could have gone a little more. I'm sure you could perform great. But focus on what we need more than what we want to do. Let's, let's recall it. Keep on breathing deep. Move the body a little bit. I just took a floor again. That's my hands on the mat or the floor or books or block or whatever. And I'm just trying to focus on lengthening my breastbone, getting into all my ribs, side, front, upper chest. Low back, upper back, and mid back, trying to breathe and expand through all the circumference as I slow my breath down and I walk my hips out. I'm just bending one knee at a time. My focus is on my breath. As my lower back hips start to ease, I just slightly spin my heels out, layering my bum bones. Slowing my exhales. Give a little twerk of the heels and just pushing the heels out without moving them. So we're just making the skin twist, the bottom of my heel skin twisting as I twerk my heels out. You can do that with your palms as you spin your biceps forward, elbows inward. Open your arms, come up all the way, big inhale. Bring your hand to prayer pose. Just stand tall. That does a three. Mountain pose. Every pose built on this pose. So just in case. Just breathe. In chaos, how quickly can you, you come back to stillness, you know? How quickly can you grab your breath and quiet your mind? Really, that all is just distracting the mind from thinking. You're centering your focus on your workout only, your stamina, your endurance. Right arm, reach up. Left arm, reach under. You bind your hands, see if you can. If you cannot, just pretend you can. Fake it. Take your right leg back. Think warrior one. Right heel and back foot intersect. Bring your hips forward. So we can fold forward without coming up now. Elbows reaching back and forward with the head and tailbone. Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Pull your shoulder blades together. Use the strength of your mid back. Throw your hips down. Back leg farther away. Come back up, stand tall, free your arms, 
We're gonna go to the other side, Barry. Ready? Arms up, one arm up, one arm down, reach under, reach over, and take your other leg back. When you settle in the pose, stay there. Don't come up no longer. Go forward. So are you just bringing your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. You're not over your femur, over your thigh. So just slightly inside that leg. Reaching the elbows in equal opposite direction, front and back leg. Come back up again, stand tall, free your arms, go on your back, please. Just read there. We're going to be in Shavasan. We work hard for this moment. Don't waste it to plan your day, go shopping your head. Make a list of what you're going to do. Spree, quiet your mind. Try to keep your eyes soft. Let the eyeballs sink back into the skull as they are extension plane. But softly gaze with your eyes closed. Gaze your eyes to the center point where your brows meet. And then just look up slightly. And you'll watch the brain quiet. All the thoughts, memories, activities will go away. If you can softly gaze to that center point of forehead, just slightly up from there, look up softly. Don't look at anything, just gaze up. And all your thoughts will fade away. Do this technique any time during the day that you feel overwhelmed. Everything will go away. And that was it for today, guys. Oh, yeah. So, to your side, come up with a straight spine. Thanks, guys. As usual. Don't forget to subscribe.